A massive crate has turned up as well as the piece of higher equipment that we need to get it in place which is this um, genie lift here because we've got to unpack this and get it into the mezzanine floor from here. A moment of truth, let's see what's actually in here. If I can get it apart, God. <laughs> Whoops, it's a bit of a hole through the side of the box there. It's a bit hard doing it by one hand. I'll come back to you when I've got it open. Apparently I was doing it all wrong and I should have been just lifting up the top here. And uh, then we'll get a good look of um, what is in here. Well, will we get a good look? I don't know. Let's have a... There we go. Oh, look at that. Big old machine. I don't know what the temperature is out here, but it is hot. Like maybe... I don't know, it must be like 28, 29 right now. It's a fail because I didn't realise that the forks didn't go any lower than about that high which obviously isn't going to work with that so we're going to have to now ask and what I should have done in the first place is ask a neighbour for their forklift because basically it's going to have to go in up and it's going to go we'll pull the shutter all the way up and we need to open up that panel there it needs to go through that panel so this panel's got to come out for us to get the machine up here we have ourselves a hole to get the pick and place machine through Alright, All right, that's what that looks good. Yep, yeah. straight, straight, keep coming straight in. That's it. That's it, keep coming in. Keep coming in. Let me check, he's clear at the front. Well, that should be fine. There it is in the hole. A hole which there's debate about going on whether or not we leave that hole there. I think we're going to have to close it off. As much as it's quite useful, um, it's not exactly safe. And uh, also, it's very noisy, really, because obviously the compressor's just literally just down there. And um, all that heat's going to be coming up here as well. Anyway, um, so machine's up here, but the next challenge is this wall, or at least part of it, has got to come out. And the trouble is, is that the carpenters that put this wall in nailed, nail gunned everything. Um, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. And um, then, you know, all this pick and place stuff needs to come out. And there's a lot of work to do. It's going to be, uh, it's going to take quite a while. Chaos! Oh my God. It's, um, <laughs> it's just literally, it's just an absolute mess. But you know what? You've got to break some eggs to bake a cake. Is that the right saying? I'm sure it is. The wall's out, but it leaves quite a lot of mess and stuff to sort out. I don't really know how far I can really go with it in terms of actually tidying everything up, but it is all an opportunity for improvement, especially look at this stuff and these lights and things like that. Physics. Now, I cannot lift this machine. It weighs 257 kilograms, but with a, mm, I don't know, 1.8 meter piece of um, piece of timber, look, I can actually lift the machine um, quite easily. I'm doing this with one hand whilst holding the foam, so yeah. Um, two ton wheels underneath this, and it just, even though I'm on my own, I can move it quite considerably. You see there, it's quite useful, but I don't have four, I've only got two, which is a problem. The machine's in place, I'm really upset about the way the floor looks. I remember doing a video and putting this floor in, and I thought all the time, yeah, it's going to be amazing. And then we ruined it because we did powder coat in there and we walk in here and make it all day. All right, so we got the machine functioning. Look, you can see that just moving just slowly, just while I jog this on here. It's quite a nice little setup. And there's a, I'll show you there. There's an and on light just there, which shows the current status of the machine, which is pretty cool. Now anyway, with this software, I know there's a track width issue already. I've got my first one. Um, so basically you're meant to be able to go and track configure and you're meant to be able to set the the width up here and that's not working. However, I have manually adjusted it and there is a board just there. And if I hit um, board in, I realised that I just wasn't hitting the sensor. So uh, I will go board in and there you go. And you can see it brings it, well, no, slight issue there. <laughs> There's a little fiddling about to do with this. This is all in auto mode right now. So you can see, look, the last camera position, you can see it actually pictured the 
diode and then it actually shows the diode here. Now it's only placing four diodes because I don't want to place the whole board and, and, and plus I haven't put paste down or anything else. But it's in auto right now. So here's what how it works. I can take this board and there's a sensor here. Now as soon as I put it in there it'll go, it'll take it. So here we go. It's taken the board, clamps it in place, it checks the mark position and now it comes in and places the components. Now they are just a bit random all over the place but you know it's doing its job and then it sends the board out again after it's finished which is pretty cool.